Green tea slime, a cactus puzzle, and donut headphones? Watch our new video to find out how teachers de-stress after class. There's chaos in the classroom. Students are winning the prank war. This has gone too far. The teachers are going out of their way and out of the school to avoid the conflict. But Miss Elizabeth is acting very differently. She's relaxing with a cup of green tea. Pour lemon scented liquid soap into clear Elmer's glue. Mix it and add a few drops of tea tree oil. Add borax. Mix the slime. Pour green glitter and sparkly little flowers into a third of the slime. Put the sparkly slime into a clear cup and place the lighter slime on top. Decorate it with a plastic mint leaf. Green tea doesn't just calm your nerves, it also relaxes your hands. Miss Elizabeth is the picture of relaxation. All her worries fade away while she has her tea. A teacher conference suddenly begins in the cafe after classes. These stressed out teachers disturb Miss Elizabeth's harmonious aura. Chill out, there's something on the anti-stress menu for each of you. Teachers also need an island of peace in the stormy seas of students. And green tea slime is even better than a regular beverage. The way it stretches is so satisfying. And it smells so wonderful. Something starts ringing from the very depths of Miss Smith. She can find just about anything in her pockets except her phone. Finally, Miss Smith answers the call. Of course, it's some new stressor calling her. Her colleagues inspect the contents of her pockets. Miss Elizabeth is interested by this lipstick. And Sebastian found a mysterious glue stick. It almost smells edible. Heat up marshmallows in a microwave. Add powdered sugar and mix firm edible slime. Roll it into the form of a glue stick. Trim the ends. Use a toothpick to poke an opening and insert the slime into a clean, empty glue stick tube. Sebastian bites off a piece of the glue. Mmm, yummy! Marshmallow slime is an excellent idea. Miss Elizabeth finds a second glue stick. What if there's something yummy to eat in this one too? No, there's something even better inside. It's an unusual squishy. Cut old rubber squishies into pieces and melt them in an oven set to a very high temperature. Carefully pour the liquid squishies into a clean, empty glue stick. Let it cool. Miss Smith comes back after a conversation with the principal. What a stressful day. Quick, she needs a dose of her pocket slimes as soon as possible. Just a little bit of glue and she's calm again. Slimes always make Miss Smith feel better. Miss Smith was born to be a florist. She has a whole hot house full of flowers at home, but her flowers don't always love her back. This awful little cactus bit the teacher of the year. I'll give it an F. Thank goodness Miss Smith still has some loyal plants left, like this puzzle cactus. It definitely doesn't bite. Paint a round plastic container with acrylic paint. Draw several ovals of different sizes on a foam core. These will be the cactus growths. Mark some rectangular grooves that you'll use to connect the pieces. Cut the pieces out. Color them with different shades of green acrylic paint. Use white paint to draw the cactus's spikes. Cut out some brown felt to match the size of the container. Make an even cut in the middle. Hot glue some synthetic stuffing into the container. Attach the felt on top. 
Decorate the container with twine. Use a marker to draw eyes and a mouth. Put the first piece of the cactus into the cut in the felt. Attach the other pieces on top into the grooves. Each time you put it together, the puzzle looks different. Miss Smith can assemble a cactus of any maker model. It grows right before her very eyes. What a good student! It even helps her relax and calm her nerves. Miss Smith had a hard day. And now Miss Elizabeth is adding to her stress and spilling water right on this educator's knee. That's it! This was the last straw, or drop. Miss Smith's feelings are hurt. Miss Elizabeth doesn't know how to make it up to her. But inventive peacemaker Sebastian orders some grapes. Check out this new de-stressor. Mix white Elmer's glue with shaving foam. Pour in some contact lens solution. Mix big slime. Put a purple balloon into the neck of a plastic bottle. Fill the balloon with slime. Tie the end off. Fill a few balloons like that. Tie them up with a string to make a bunch of grapes. Cut a grape leaf out of green felt following a template. And use super glue to attach it to the top of the grapes. Miss Smith. Please accept these grapes as a sign of my regret. It's not fruit on a plate, but a soft anti-stress device. Miss Smith calms down immediately. The grapes are so pleasant to touch. Miss Elizabeth is forgiven. Sebastian has read every book from the Young Geographer's Library. There's nothing interesting left. What can he do to entertain his brain? Thank goodness, he has a squishy puzzle to keep him busy. Trace geometric shapes on a square piece of memory foam. Cut the pieces out. Color them with spray paint. Use rubber paint to make a design on the puzzle pieces. Sebastian spreads the puzzle out on the table and assembles a design. It might be a simple puzzle, but it's so soft. Putting it together is a total tactile delight. Miss Smith finished her tea and now she's bored. She asked the world's leading specialist in de-stressing, Miss Elizabeth, for help. Maybe she has something interesting. You guessed it, Miss Elizabeth always carries a ball-filled stress reliever in her bag just in case of sudden nervousness or hypochondria. Place a clear balloon into the neck of a plastic bottle and fill the balloon with Orbeez balls. Tie the balloon and trim off the end. It's a two-in-one stress ball. Stress balls in a balloon. Moving them around with your fingers is so much fun. Miss Smith is so happy, and so is Sebastian. He also wants to try out this inviting stress ball. Great, now the teachers are fighting. Miss Smith is faster, but Sebastian has longer arms. This stress ball only brought stress instead of relieving it. The teachers are fighting like children over their favorite toy. Miss Elizabeth is sick of sitting by the battlefield. She needs to find some zen immediately. She'll listen to some music in her soft new headphones. Trace two wide rings on memory foam. Cut them out and make them donut shaped. Make drips of glaze out of colorful glittery felt. Hot glue the felt onto the donuts. Cut strips of felt and glue them on like sprinkles. Wind thick yarn around a headphone headband Decorate it with felt sprinkles and glue the soft donuts onto the headphones. 
Don't bother Miss Elizabeth. She's heading off to the cozy land of donuts. The headphones immediately attract the other teacher's attention. Look at that softness. It just makes you want to pull on Miss Elizabeth's ears. These donut headphones end all the teacher's conflicts. Miss Elizabeth is a specialist when it comes to relaxation. Even at home, when she's slicing up a fruit salad, she relaxes her feet on a soft anti-stress rug. Cut circles out of stretchy fabric. Sew the fabric along the perimeter. Fill it with synthetic stuffing. Pull on the thread to tighten, collecting the fabric together. Make a few little pouches of different colors and sizes. Glue the pouches to a thick felt base, alternating the sizes and colors. Miss Elizabeth uses this rug to relax her feet from wearing heels all day. If only she could bring this rug to class with her. Just a minute of relaxation and Miss Elizabeth already feels so much better. Did you like our anti-stress toys for teachers? Then write in the comments which one you'll give to your teacher. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new anti-stress ideas for school on Troom Troom.